Outlast is a horror game with a lot of disturbing themes and imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, it's M. Knightley, and it has been forever since I had Outlast up on my channel. What can I be doing? It's really easy to figure out, probably, actually. It's not that much of a surprise. I'm going to be playing Outlast Whistleblower, which is a DLC released for Outlast. Um, just for complete transparency, I actually have seen a playthrough of Whistleblower, uh, I think like, I've seen, I've seen one like twice, but I haven't watched that playthrough in like a year now, so I try to give myself, um, like amnesia. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. There's some stuff that I definitely do remember, but it's mostly all around one part, so a lot of the game I'll be like, I vaguely remember this. Yeah, so my main game of Outlast Let's Play was blind, Outlast was a blower is not. This DLC is a lot shorter than the normal game, uh, it's like two and a half hours, give or take I've heard. I have played through Outlast a couple more times since the last time uh, I did my Let's Play, so I'm pretty good with the mechanics, so I think that this should be go a little faster than my first Outlast playthrough. I think there's some really interesting themes present in the DLC that were also kind of present in Outlast, but to a bigger extent in the DLC, so I'm excited. Without further ado, let's just get started. Yay! Oh man, it's been a while since I last made that one um, Outlast video. Last October. Okay, let's start this shit up. Waylon is snoozing. Oh, Waylon's the character you play as in Whistleblower. Hello! Oh, these doctors are so kind. They're helping me off the ground. You know, you don't you don't see that nowadays. Make America great again. <laughs> you don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. Ooh, Ace. I love Ace. Lamar. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here, let me help. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's coming. It's coming back. Ooh, I don't like the noises. You getting these alerts? Kind of coming back to me here. now. It sounds like real trouble. I'm kind of busy engine, looking this guy's said face. Hope made a lateral assumption. <laughs> we hope. Not Sorry, I realize my tip shells are on. Happy about it? Huh? Oh, I can shit. control. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Let's just look at the morphogenic engine. It's <laughs> probably fine. <laughs> Waylon, he's in pain. Two hours earlier. Uh, you don't know me how to make this quick, but they might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software console and work off psychiatric systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Blah, blah, blah. You guys might, end you, might uh, you guys might notice this as being the email that brings you to the asylum as Miles Upshur. Yeah, so the DLC is called Whistleblower because you're playing the guy who blew the whistle. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Can I stand it? Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy go to going too deep, finding something that had been weighing for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Let's send that email. No one. I'm just. I'm masturbating. Don't come back here. Is my window closed? Okay, good. I did close my window. I was like, I don't want the neighbors in here. Hey there. How's it going? They've paged for you three times already. There's something oh. urgent at the engine. Okay. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. Report to morphogenic engine monitoring immediately. Okay, so they're calling for me. Um, do I have any documents or anything? No, okay. And I don't have a, a thing yet either. Delta was predicting assembly by 150. We're not being given enough information to trust Wernicke's predictions. He's been I right get fired for taking I too long. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancers. Okay. You're Whalen Park, aren't you? Why weren't you answering the page? I don't know. I'll tell That's them you busy. Know. But yeah, you guys might recognize this as uh, where we ended up at at the end of Outlast. 
I'm assuming you've played Outlast. Okay. I'm assuming not played. I'm assuming that you've watched an Outlast playthrough or played it before watching this. Uh, this is going to have Outlast main game story. Uh, spoilers. Just so you guys know. So if you're not here for that, go back now. Oh. Am I not going there? Am I going over here? Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks like a nice day. It definitely looks like a mess out of patients start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in shit years now right how long has it been since you've seen jane three weeks now <sighs> that's nothing you're serious sure you got a girlfriend or somebody i'm married how long since you've seen her 10 Honestly, years i'm not even sure oh damn dude go see your wife how about you going back to leadville to pick up jane Christ, Please excuse Waylon, me. Hurry up, they're waiting on you. I'm going as fast as I can. My little boy legs. I'm not a little boy. I don't know why I said that. We're cutting it close. Next patient incoming in arterial spin still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Okay. They've got Koluskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this part guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. Christ. Here I am. Childhood sexual with reptile imagery. Oh. <laughs> Childhood sexual reptile imagery. Okay, I'll just go ahead and sit down. Uh, what did it say? Press the left button. Press left mouse button to bug the morphogenic engine. Finally, where have you been? I was going as fast as I can. Functional imaging interfaces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yeah, I'll do my best. I don't know how to hack. Help. Oh, look at him tapping his fingers. I like Are we happy, Mr. Park? Yeah, yes. Uh, Steve? FMRI is I'm doing my best. Dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication. Dude, I don't know how to hack. I'm sorry. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. It's like, oh, I'm not used to seeing this. Can I just go back? Oh, hey there. Help me! Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you can stop this! You have to help me! You have hey, to! Hey, calm yourself. This is a high okay. security... Okay, right, okay, agent. okay. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Yeah. Get your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. It will need to roll up the fusion monitoring. See, this is really interesting because when you come in as Miles, you're an outside person. As Wayland, you were someone who, I mean, you weren't. Arterial spin oh, labeling. There he is, back Eddie online. Goskin. Oh, it's so fucked up. That's so scary. Look at him blister up. Damn. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review. So rude. I thought I did a good job. Damn. But yeah, as Miles, you were an outsider, and this, you're, you're actually someone here, who's complicit Thank in what they're doing to these patients. I mean, you're not assigned to do it. Like, really, it's just a job, and you're clearly Wayland's upset by it. But, like, I think it's really interesting that it's putting you in the position of someone who's complicit in, like, the atrocities they're doing. Like, he's just following orders, basically, but, you know, it's like... As that patient was saying... He was like, I know you can stop this, and he kind of is in the long run by running the email. But really, it's like, you know, he let that guy go in and get, like, tortured. I just think it's a really interesting, like, moral standpoint to have your main character taken. When usually you want to be really, like, really good, right, as a main character. Here I am. Let's get our laptop. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. No, no! Down! Hands where I can see him! Oh, no. Oh, How Whalen could this Park. happen to me? Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Somehow dumb Dude. enough to think that a borrowed laptop 
onion router and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's is leading he, supplier is of his eyes white? Security. Stupid, Mr. Park. I actually had no stupid. idea. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit It's so to scary. The idea of being like, you know, Did confined you against agent? your will here. It's he so yes, scary. Mr. Blair. No. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the God damn it, Blair. engine program? Uh, That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed. Said all the goddamn conspiracy theories. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate oh, your God. bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. No, it's not a light anesthetic at all. Oh no, again? Whistleblower. Welcome to Whistleblower, everyone. I honestly, um, Whistleblower to me, from like, I've like, I've only experienced people playing through it, and like I said, I don't have Gray's memory, but I feel like it's a lot of the cool things about Outlast, and they're just like even cooler. Okay, so this is back to where the prologue was placed, clearly. Okay, let's get up. See, I feel like the morphogenic engine stuff is not, not something you want to see burned into your retinas. Like, definitely not. No! Whoa, Ryder! You think he's okay? Oh, poor Wayland. Wayland, Wayland is too sleep for this world, just like Miles. Oh god. Oh, he's gone too. Okay, let's see, let's see. If I die. I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed. Or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the, the engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera of my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I can and exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Well, I mean, dude, honestly, if you were, like... He's probably in the best situation, actually, for what's going down. Like, I would hate to be one of the doctors, you know, like, if they knew that he worked for them. That's just another patient, I feel like. I mean, you're not guaranteed a good time, but I feel like you're slightly more likely to have a good time. Wallflower. Pretty flower. Ooh. Fucking. I'll open you up. I'll set you up and show you. Make you fur. You ain't right there. I don't know what this guy does if you go over to him. Oh, okay, okay, I'm, go I'm going. I'm going. Oh, please, leave me alone. Ah! Ah! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh god, that freaked me out. No, they're See, look how nice they are. They're so nice. God, where did, where did that guy go? That freaked me out so bad. They're like, see, they think I'm a, a prisoner, so they're pretty nice to me. Like, that's like a fucking doctor they're knifing, you know? I feel like it's really not something you wanna. Oh, fuck. No, oh, no, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh. Okay. Hey. No. Take the plate. Dig around with your friend here. Okay. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. I mean, probably. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. You're one of those. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Okay. Thanks, guy. See, that's interesting. Ooh, look at that booty. The whole idea that there are no observers, because it's kind of like telling about Wayland, because it's like there he was kind of just an observer in terms of all the shit that was going down. Really, there aren't. Ah! Ah, what the fuck are you trying to go? Sorry. 
Oh, he's after me. Oh, fuck. Please. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm escaping. Damn. And also, like, okay, so Whistleblower just starts off, like, super fucking going hard, right? We get out of here through reception and then Merc Tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's hey. shortwave. If the prison stitches with stitches, they've got signal and the lights are on. Merc Alpha is not in control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come. Dang, that's so scary. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Mercom Company payroll? I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. You're scared. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new something to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. Scary. I don't know why it's playing the scary music. Okay. A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. Too dangerous. Whistleblower is so good. Like, literally, what, um... I mean, it's been a while since I played through the first Outlast, you know? And I got really deep into, like, Outlast lore and, like, thinking about, like, all that stuff. <laughs> so I probably, you're probably like, man, Emily's suddenly really into this. Like, more so than she's seen before. Ew, is that my foot? Gross. How am I walking? I don't like that. Or not walking, you know what I mean. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, God. Are you okay? Are you a friend? Can I get some batteries? Oh, damn. Look at- Fuck! I'm gonna run out of batteries. I'm so- I'm so low already. Okay. Oh, God! Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Damn, that was fucking scary. See, like, things like that, okay? Like, it plays- with the fact, I'm gonna close that behind me if you don't mind, dude. It plays with the fact that like you don't have the ability to look through your camera on night vision during scenes like that. It's really good. Alas is really scary and plays with mechanics. I mean, whistleblower is really scary and plays with mechanics. I mean, Alas too, but especially whistleblower. So I'm trying to find like some batteries or something, but I don't hear any. I just hear like scary music. So. Ah! What? Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh God. Help me, please. Oh, how did I get here? I need to hold my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Holding <laughs> clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta that get me real out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Oh wait, is that battery? Thanks. Okay, let's go ahead and you push it. We're gonna rescue him. Oh god. See, you basically always want to keep this open so you don't miss any notes, but then I I don't know how I feel about the overlay. Okay. The doctors are sick. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside a coffin. Dozens today. Murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And when am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. <sighs> so scary. Oh, stone cold. Okay, so... Am I going out here? Oh, yeah, okay. Fuck, okay, I think we're going through here. Then we're gonna- Oh god! Come on, come on, come on! Let me go, let me go! Okay. I don't 
know what way we're going. Okay, can't go through there. The outside world, I'm so close. Okay, I wanna explore a little bit. Anything there? No. Ooh, Intel. Okay, let's see, what does it say? Resignation at Wayland Park, damn! Stone cold. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville, Colorado in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consultant contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visit visited Miss Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them, with the silver line that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Mrs. Park has some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it was discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is what I want to take care of you personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Fuck you, Jeremy Blair. I'm gonna get you. The actual scariest person in these games is Jeremy Blair, because he's just like this rich dude who does scary things, like commits people. Oh, it looks like we're supposed to go up here, but I kind of want to see what's down that dark area, but also I'm kind of scared. Um, we could take a look-see. Okay, now that's it. Okay. We'll go back around then. Let's run, I'm scared. Okay, let's crawl. Ooh, it's so dark! I hate it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload, I'm too scared. I'm too scared, I gotta reload. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just like... I'll just have a time of it. That's me. <gasps> Battery! Yay! My one true love in my, this life of mine. Okay. Um. I think I'm actually gonna call it there for the first episode. But yeah. So that fucking got whistleblower. It, got, it starts off so fast, right? Like it just like throws you the action like almost immediately. But with enough backstory that you like feel... You feel like, you know, connected to the character? At least I do. Maybe it's just me.